The U.S. government is taking a closer look at how to stop hackers from taking control of medical devices like pacemakers. An inspector general's report last month found the Food and Drug Administration's plans and processes were deficient for addressing medical device cybersecurity compromises. The FDA disputes that and says it has worked proactively on the issue. Anna Warner shows us how the agency is now coordinating with hackers to detect potential problems. That's an interesting tactic. Anna, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Well, many people may not realize that medical devices, some of them run on computers, and like computers, they can be hacked. Now, so far, neither government officials nor security experts have identified any incidents in which a computer hacker has harmed a patient through a medical device. But these cybersecurity researchers say those devices have massive vulnerabilities that may Make it easy for hackers to break in. There's nothing stopping us from in a garage taking them apart and hacking them. Nothing. Talk to Billy Rios and Jonathan Butts about the security of medical devices and... We've yet to find a device that we've looked at that we haven't been able to hack. Wait, you're yet to find a medical device that you cannot hack? That is correct. The two security researchers have examined critical machines like pacemakers, drug infusion pumps, and insulin pumps, devices that help keep people alive, and found all have vulnerabilities that would allow someone else to take control of the machines. The reason? All of those devices are run by computers, and computers can be hacked. This is all kind of yeah, chilling. I mean, that's why we do this, right? So. For instance, take this insulin pump made by device manufacturer Medtronic. Anyone that has this device that has one of these controllers, we can take it over. They showed us how they can send a wireless signal telling the pump to deliver the wrong amount of insulin to a patient nearby who might be wearing it. So right you're now. in control of this yeah. now? Yeah, you're not pushing the buttons on that, obviously. No, I'm not pushing a button. Yeah, um, even if you were, it won't do anything. They also found vulnerabilities in a Medtronic pacemaker that could allow a hacker to reprogram the device from anywhere, disrupting a patient's heart rhythms in a way that could hurt or kill them. They're scenarios that, until now, have been the stuff of TV shows. It sounds like a method for murder, am I right? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's no coming back from some of these exploits, right? So if a pacemaker for a patient gets hacked, you can't take that back. You can't issue them a new credit card. You can't tell them to change their password. You can't issue them credit monitoring. They're hurt. They're killed. The pacemaker vulnerability was serious enough they thought Medtronic would want to address it immediately. So in January of 2017, they sent the company a report detailing what they'd found. It seemed to us that a lot of it was being downplayed by the manufacturer. When you say yeah. downplayed, what do you mean by I mean, they were saying, hey, this isn't, this isn't possible, it's not feasible, the way that they characterize it is wrong, and so. They were just completely disagreeing with everything. So the two researchers decided they had to prove it by writing the code. Thank you. Then demonstrating the potential dangers of both the pacemaker and the insulin pump at a prestigious information security conference. After the two live demonstrations, people actually stood up and clapped, which is, it kind of uh, took us uh, by surprise. Medtronic's response? The company issued a statement saying it had addressed the problem and that existing security controls mitigate the issue. But the vulnerability caught the attention of the Food and Drug Administration. Any device can be hacked and that's often not understood. The FDA's Dr. Suzanne Schwartz oversees medical device cybersecurity. She says manufacturers have been playing catch up. It's a culture shift. So the actions and the activities that we're seeing manufacturers take are very encouraging. They're very promising, but we still have a ways to go. In the case of the Medtronic pacemaker, the researchers' work prompted the FDA to start asking questions of its own. That was when Medtronic finally came out and said what we'd been saying all along was indeed correct, that there is remote concern and there is potential to cause patient harm. Last month, the FDA took action, sending out a warning about certain Medtronic pacemakers, and the company issued a software fix. Medtronic has also instructed users of its insulin pumps to disable certain features to minimize risks. The company declined an on-camera interview, but in a statement to CBS News, Medtronic admitted it took entirely too long to process, validate, and mitigate the vulnerabilities discovered by the two researchers. So do you feel vindicated? I mean, I you're I, looking for vindication. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, for those manufacturers that don't want to move and don't want to fix their devices, I hope they 
realize that the repercussions are really serious and we can't wait for something to happen before they decide to try to fix something. Well, Medtronic told us it began taking some steps to mitigate the vulnerability risks even before Rios and Butts' live demonstrations. It also told us it has significantly improved its response time to reports of vulnerabilities. That insulin pump, however, is still in use, though the company claims it's being phased out. Now, to learn more about the vulnerabilities that have been found and what can be done about it, you can visit CBS This Morning. Uh, dot com. But the FDA is now working with these two researchers and others to try to catch these things mm -hmm. before anybody can do anything with them to hurt somebody. Is there any sign that people are doing this, that are hacking them in in order to harm people? Well, that's the thing, is they're trying to get out ahead of it. They don't have any ca specific cases that they know about right okay. now, but they don't want to wait until it happens in Yeah, somebody. thank you, Mr. Rios and Mr. Butts. I saw it on a TV show and thought, that's a TV show. Now we on know Homeland. it ain't a TV yeah. show. Mm -hmm. On Homeland is right. Thank you, Anna.